wins this league. And now moving on to important geothermal news, which you may or may not find anywhere else but here at InfoWars. The ring of fire is roaring to life, and there will be earthquakes of historic importance. This American Dream article uh, goes through the history of uh, the uh, Ring of Fire, and lately there have been a lot. There's been a lot of activity as far as uh, the Ring of Fire and its threat on not only earthquakes and volcanoes, but also uh, nuclear events. So we start out here with: Does it seem to you like there has been an unusual amount of seismic activity around the world lately? Well, it isn't your imagination. The Ring of Fire is roaring to life, and that is really bad news for the West Coast of the United States. Approximately 90% of all earthquakes and approximately 75% of all volcanic eruptions occur along the Ring of Fire. It also goes on to say that on Wednesday, the most powerful strike slip earthquake ever recorded happened along the Ring of Fire as long as as that happens outside of any uh, area where people are, are living, that's fine, but it, once it moves into California or moves into Japan or any, any place along the Ring of Fire, let's take a look at that graphic again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a massive shift in life on Earth. In 2001, there were 137 earthquakes of magnitude 6.0 or greater, and in 2011, there were 205. Again, 2001, 137, 2011, 205. And of course, what that means to our nuclear reactors that sit on the Ring of Fire, as you can see, we've got plenty there in the great northwest and in California and along China, Japan, and, of course, we've already had the Fukushima disaster. Maybe that's just an appetizer for the big meal awaiting us. Again, that article, the American Dream article, the Ring of Fire is Roaring to Life, and there will be earthquakes of historic importance. Please check it out at InfoWars.